All right, we're watching the original. Fuck it. Please like and share this video. And subscribe for more stories. For the past two years, I've been eating raw meat, raw animal products, and I have never felt better. I eat anywhere from half a pound to maybe two pounds of meat in a day if I'm eating meat that day. Sometimes I just live on eggs, raw milk, and honey, honestly. I've always been interested in diet because I've had health issues with eczema and joint pains, things other people, everybody experiences. And through my research... So I substituted those health issues to salmonella, trichophobia, tapeworms, all manner of bacteria. I'm glad he did his own research. It's always like, whenever a motherfucker in this day and age says, I'm doing my own research, it's like, run away, dude. So sad. And experimentation, I haven't found anything that works quite as good as a raw diet. Great stuff. Oh! Oh! Okay, at first I thought I could eat while I watched this, but that... Wow, that really... That really was a game changer. That was like a, like a loogie, dude. Hi there, my name's Chris and I eat raw meat. I eat raw meat because I think that's what humans are supposed to eat. That is part of the natural human diet. So today I'm headed out to my dairy farmer uh, to pick up some whole raw Wait, what? A2 no. Bro, oh, that's the rawest of meat, dog. Right there. Doesn't get more raw than that. What's she gonna do? Suck on the cow's titties and then fucking take a bite out of her its ass? That's not gonna happen, right? Oh my God, maybe I shouldn't have watched this. Milk that is produced from Guernsey cows, uh, which are some of the finest cows in the world. They have more beta carotene in their milk than say Jersey cows. So works on the honor system. You come in here, you get your milk. And then once you got your milk, you leave your money. It's $10 a gallon. I really love drinking the whole raw milk because it provides unparalleled nutritional benefits in terms of uh, vitamins and nutrients. There's also many live enzymes and bacteria in the whole milk that are good for people as well. And it's an A2 strain, so it's a lot easier for people to digest. And I drink anywhere from a third of a gallon to a half of a gallon every day. After we stopped and got some raw milk, uh, we're gonna head over to a local butcher where they have high quality local pastured meat available. I'm gonna pick up some ground beef and I'm gonna make some uh, steak tartare along with a few other things today. I forgot, I have boiled eggs now that I put in the curry and that shit is dank as fuck. Well, additional protein on the side, you know what I'm saying? Mm. For me personally, I make sure that the animals I buy are organic, that they are non-medicated, they're not fed hormones, they should be on pasture, they're not cooped up in some stalls, being force-fed GMO grain and, uh, you know, hormones and all that other stuff. Uh, the meat I buy does not have any of that. So if you're looking to eat raw meat, you want to find those sources which are organic, uh, pastured, and local. The funniest part about this shit is like...
Bro, people that do this sort of stuff, like, you know you have to have a balanced diet, right? Like, you literally lost the balance. Like, we make fun of vegans and stuff, but, like, a vegan diet is infinitely more balanced than this, dude. You need fiber and shit. You actually need fiber. You need so much. Take a multivitamin. I mean, I supplement too, but this is the gravity. Is this this? Yes. How the fuck? I oh, found wanna... a very uh, easy and convenient way to this eat some of the organ so meats powerful, I like to eat is to blenderize them. So I'm gonna make one of my favorite things here. This is an organ shake. I've got some fresh lamb liver and uh, lamb kidneys here. And we're gonna start off uh, by blenderizing the meats. So we're gonna put our liver in here. You know this dude loves Hannibal Lecter. And uh, that red stuff is actually hemoglobin. It's not blood, technically. It's Thanks, just man. just from the liver. Juices from the liver. Eating raw meat has many benefits. Firstly, when you expose meat to heat, the cooking temperatures that we're all accustomed to, it degrades and denurtures the meat. One of the other main points are the changes that happen when you cook fat, when you heat fats. Um, the cooked fats aren't going to melt in your mouth like the raw fats. And honestly, uh, as I'm sure many people know it can relate, the eating those uh, grisly cooked fats is uh, not very comfortable for your stomach. Throughout my what? almost two years now of eating raw meat, I have never had a problem eating uh, massive quantities Bro, raw fat is so nasty to eat. What the fuck is wrong with this guy? Yo, this shit is actually turning me vegan. Just kidding. I'm literally eating a pound of fucking straight white chicken breast. It is delicious. But this dude is just wrong. Of raw fat. So it just got stuck in the blades. So we're going to just relocate that. Continue blending. I find that I, that I need less sleep when I take blenderized or minced meats because it saves my body energy because I don't have to work as hard to digest it and I'm getting a complete whole nutrition through the raw foods. Vegans look at this and go, I don't understand. What's the difference between this guy and any carnist? I'm failing to understand what the difference is here. Come on, carnist, why are you molding? Great stuff. Um, got nice consistency similar to like a thick chocolate milk uh, sweet creamy taste because of the milk the honey and the eggs really does a good job masking the what you may think is like the unpleasant organ taste or whatever um, the, the texture of the organs is gone obviously it's blenderized uh, but this is a great way to um, get your meat and uh, your organs especially if you have a hard time just eating them on their own so this is a convenient, easy way for me to eat it. Um, I can get the milk and the eggs. There's no way this dude too. smells so, good. So as you'll see today, um, I'm going to eat some fermented liver, which is basically just rotten liver that's been sitting in a jar for a couple months. That's high meat! And not just high meat. Whoever had to record this, like, I feel so bad for them. This is so nasty. All right, so this is the um, fermented liver, otherwise known as high meat. It's very easy to make. All you need is a clean jar and about, you know, half a pound to a pound. Listen, you got to admit, I know my shit. You know what I mean? Like, I know my fucking shit, boys. Of fresh liver or any other meat you would like to use. However, liver is the most palatable um, that there is. And what you do is you chop the meat up finely in one inch cubes or so. And then you fill it up about halfway, leaving another half room in the jar for air. And every three to four days, you're gonna wanna take your jars outside 
and then you just simply air them out. So that's what it looks like. When you eat high meat, you're ingesting a lot of bacteria, a lot of good bacteria for your body. And when it gets to your stomach, all those bacteria mingle and coalesce and they release serotonin and dopamine into your body creating a... How does the guy not have gout? There's like... Like eating liver, eating this much liver, like how do you not have gout? I mean, that's hella fatty, dude. Everything he's eating is so fatty. A high sense, which is why the so fermented rich. meats, such as the fermented liver, have gained this uh, nickname, high meat. It has a smell similar to uh, like Parmesan cheese, or no, I'm sorry. It tastes rather like Parmesan cheese, but it smells kind of like cherries, like a cherry wine. Or something. So that's kind of a big lump. I'm a little fool for that. So here's a piece. Oh, that's just gray, homie. That's just gray. It's about two months old and High liver going in. He doesn't even look healthy. That's what I don't understand. Like, he just looks crazy. Uh, One of my favorite absolute things to eat is lamb heart. I particularly enjoy lamb heart because it's a healthy cut of meat. It's very nutritious. Um, it's also very flavorful compared to some other hearts, such as beef. And it's more tender as well, which I enjoy. All right, so i um, eating some lunch today. It's a special occasion. Um, so I've got some lamb heart here. This is probably one of my favorite types of organs to eat um, because you get the nutritional benefits from the heart. Um, but the lamb heart is a little more tender and it's not as uh, dull as uh, say beef heart. Um, it's also a lot smaller. I've also got some steak tartare here. This is some- What's up y'all? It's your boy Asmongold, it's your boy Asmongold. Freshly ground beef with a raw egg uh, on top. And then we also have some raw pork here, some <laughs> fresh ground raw pork. And I like to eat that with uh, some of that fresh horseradish we just made. And then I, of course I have some milk to wash, help wash everything down. Yo, that is the thickest milk I've ever seen, dude. That's some fucking thick ass milk. Bon appetit. Indeed. A lot of people in today's society are put off of how I eat. It's seen as uh, very weird and barbaric, probably, but it's a natural human diet. Humans are designed to eat raw meat. No. It's not even barbaric. Barbarians were able to, like, figure out fire at that point, so they were actually, like, you know, cooking stuff. No, this is like, it's not even caveman. Like, what is the era where they didn't, it's, it's like primitive. It's so primitive. I don't know what to say. I know through my experience of eating raw meat for two years, as well as talking to dozens of other people who have a similar raw meat diet that the health benefits and the good feeling that comes from having a clean, raw diet far outweigh the temporal niceties of eating cooked food, uh, of those flavors and things. And if you can see here, uh -huh. I'm using my human teeth, which are perfectly capable of- So, the thing that triggers me on shit like this, the thing that like pisses me off about stuff like this is like whenever people say like, oh, well, humans were able to survive as hunters for, you know, weeks at a time without eating. It's like, dude, do you know how much we've evolved since then? Like this iteration of Homo sapien is not like a fucking Neanderthal, okay? Evolved in many ways.
We can't see, not much? Motherfucker, we can't see the same colors that we used to be able to see? Like, we are quite literally built differently. Okay? We are quite literally built differently. It's like taking a domesticated dog and, like, letting it loose in the wild and expecting it to survive. It's like, yeah, go hang out with some wolves. No, that, that thing's going to be fucking actual lunch for a wolf pack. Literally wrong. For cutting uh, raw meat. So, you know, here I take a bite, and what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to bite away this... Uh... Humans could still technically survive weeks without eating. That doesn't mean we should eat. That's actually true. That was actually a bad idea. Or, or that was a bad example. Humans could, especially fat people, could survive for weeks without eating food. Like, it kind of dep depends on what you got in the tank. But that part was wrong. But my point stands. It's like all this other shit. We've been cooking since long before Homo sapien. Yeah, that's why I'm saying, like, whatever era this dude is, like, fantasizing about... We are not like that. Do you see what I'm saying? Like, we've been cooking for so long, dude. We've been cooking meat for the longest fucking time. So the pre-historic, like, pre-meat cooking era, we are not that person, okay? You are, like, literally, you would look at that thing as, like, a, like a different animal. lean meat right here and separate it from the skin. See? It rips it right off the skin there. You can chew meat just fine. I get a lot of comments about um, why aren't you sick? Aren't you going to get salmonella? Aren't you going to get worms and parasites? Look, I eat salmonella every day and I'm fine. The problem with pathogens or the bacteria are that pathogens are only responsible for the environments in which and on which they feed. So if bacteria or pathogens are in a toxic environment... He's like, bro, my body is so toxic it murders pathogens. This diet that I'm consuming is literally killing me from the inside. It's like, it's like being inside. My stomach is producing so much acid to digest the insane amount of meat that I'm putting in it, that like anything that touches my insides automatically implodes, okay? I've built my body like a fucking iron trap. Environment, they are feeding off of toxicity. Pretty and sure he's wrong on the science here. The most important part, and that's really where you mitigate your risk and how ill you may become. Because if you're eating toxic, unhealthy animals, it's gonna make you sick. And it really doesn't matter if you're still cooking those toxic, unhealthy animals because you're still eating unhealthy animals. So um, I, uh... What? Am I on Reddit right now? I've never seen such a confidently wrong motherfucker. Okay, dude. He's so wrong. He's so incredibly wrong in the most, like, easily verifiable way ever. That's kind of the whole point of cooking, okay? I don't understand why he's saying this. Like, does he literally not realize that fire was invented? Like, did something happen to him where he thinks fire is not a... He's not a part of his, like, understanding of the world? Like, he, where he, he went to a time where fire didn't exist. Okay, like controlling fire was not a thing. So he thinks like, so he just doesn't realize like the many benefits of cooking meat. Uh, mix up the egg with the beef, pretty good. Um, steak tartare is uh, another one of my favorite dishes to eat. It is minced oh. ground pork combined with a uh, raw egg and mixed together. That's a very pleasing combination, kind of a old world steak and eggs, if you will. And one of my other favorite foods currently that I crave is raw pork. 
The reason is because the raw pork has a very uh, distinct taste and flavor. It's very succulent and rich. The fat is also unique in that it has a nice flavor profile as opposed to beef or lamb. It's got a little more uh, depth to it. So if I had to choose right now, I would probably say I prefer raw pork as opposed to raw beef. Sometimes after eating a big meal. It's so nasty, dude. Imagine not spicing any of that. Like I eat chica of the right. For those of you who don't know what that is, it's I, I love raw meatballs. It's a Turkish food, but it gets cooked up in spices. Like it's one of my favorite fucking Turkish foods. It's so good. Okay. That and kokoreç, which is uh, sheep intestines. But the difference is, like, that's just, like, hella spiced up. You know what I mean? This guy is just, this guy is just raw dogging all this stuff, man. I know, I know scientific, scientists think that cooking was a, cooking meat was a pivotal step in the human evolution. I know. Don't get the fucking vegans triggered. This is going to be a worse unlock. You don't understand. You just posted that in the fucking chat. This is about to be a worse unlock than the nuclear thing. It's the number one, like, anti-vegan talking point. You think they're going to fucking let that stand, dude? I took my fucking glasses off because I don't want to read chat. There's leftovers. And uh, a great way to get rid of those is to uh, reward the dogs. A nice treat. I didn't eat all the heart because I'm eating a lot today for this video. Uh, so I'm just going to give the rest of the dogs here. It's a uh, very good dog's natural diet is raw meat. Likewise with cats. And sit. 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 And uh, if you want to learn more about. Wow, he's a really good dog trainer. I mean, I know, like, I follow one of these, like, puppy mill Andes or kennels or some shit. They're, like, breed pit bulls. It's a little bit of a hate follow because I, I love these fucking pit bulls. Like, they're so beautiful. But also, at the same time, I'm, like, kind of disgusted by the genetic breeding that this, these guys engage in to make, like, these jacked ass pit bulls. And that dude always feeds them raw meat, like, a crazy amount of fucking raw meat. These are great things, I know. I'm just saying that, like, it just reminded me of, like, this. You follow a puppy mill? It's not a puppy mill, but, like, I mean, I guess it is. They, like, they literally breed, like, these. It's, like, Designer Pitbull XXL or something. That's the Instagram account. But they look so pretty, dude. They're so sick. I mean, I'm not going to fucking buy one. Don't get me wrong. Like, I would never do that. But I'm just going to show you, dude, okay? And then you'll understand why I follow them. They have a website, too, apparently. Bro, this is a fucking dog. That's literally a dog, dude. Their dogs are so pretty. <laughs> the dog's house, our house. Not only are our dogs exercise and walk daily, our XXL bullies are trained in obedience, carding, weight, pull, bite work, and agility. Oh my God! Definitely not a puppy mill. Oh, no, it certainly is. They make, like, designer pit bulls, dude. They literally breed designer pit bulls. Isn't that what a puppy mill is? Dude, there's a video on here of a pit bull giving birth. I can't show that to you for obvious reasons, but, like, dude, look at how majestic this fucking thing is, dude. God damn. I really wish they wouldn't clip their ears. 
Yo, bro, jump off that page, please. My girl watches your broadcast. I can't have her leaving me for a dog that's more jacked than me. Oh, shit, I have a non-jacked uh, dog in the chat typing. Pibbles are the ugliest dogs. Dude, I'm sorry. I don't give a fuck. I will never agree with you. I think... Oh, I'm, at, I'm done. I'm ending the broadcast. <laughs> I'm just... I, I no, I'm serious. Like I, I think, I think pit bulls are the best dogs. I, I know, I get it. Everyone's always fucking terrified. They're like, oh, pit bulls, like they're murderous. Yeah, guess what, dude? I'm a fucking cat person for pit bulls. Okay, if my pit bull wants to murder a baby, he deserves to murder a baby. Okay, why does your baby look so delicious? That's what I say. Okay. Okay. All jokes aside. All jokes aside, though, um, pitbulls are incredibly fucking cuddly. Obviously, if they're not, if they're not raised well, if they're, you know, if they're built to fight, stuff like that. The picture behind me is a pit. Yeah, it's my, it's my uh, wonderful dog, which uh, unfortunately passed away. Uh, he passed away last year. But. Pit mom energy. I mean, I am. I am definitely. I am definitely super, super, super fucking biased towards pits. I 100%. Fish is literally the reason why so many people in my circle have bought dogs. Well, not bought, adopted, but still, like gotten dogs. My brother, terrified of dogs, has a dog now, Fiona. Janice Griffith has Opal directly because of fish. Like, literally, because of fish. She'll admit it. Love fish. I would even go so far as to say Will got a dog. Uh, maybe not as much because of uh, fish, but still. Best pup, dude. So cuddly. Just the best. This woman eats raw organs on TikTok and her whole... Another day, another or organ. Uh, I'm... I'm that's terrible. Let's finish this video. About that, uh, there's the Pottinger cat study. Um, that's a very comprehensive study about the diet of animals, uh, different control groups of cats that were fed uh, raw meat and raw milk versus cooked meat and pasteurized milk versus um, the kibble diet uh, a lot of pets eat today. And he found that the raw meat and raw milk cats were the healthiest, and all of the other control groups of cats experienced uh, degenerative diseases. I think they're scared of the camera. I'm not a special person. I didn't invent. Oh my god, I'll be fucking. Dude, dude, that part is so funny. It's like. Watch out, watch out, watch out. Cats were the healthiest. It's like. It's like, dude, this part is so funny. The camera fucking literally turns off. <laughs> I was like, oh, God. I didn't discover this. Many people in the carnivore community, the raw primal diet community, we owe it all to Adrenus Vonderplanets. He wrote uh, two books. And in those books, Adrenus lays out his story and his evidence uh, for the raw primal diet and why it is so essential and beneficial for humans. He himself cured his uh, leukemia um, with the raw primal diet ah. and he has also helped. Whoa. Sure, bro. These people are so stupid, dude. I mean, you, uh, I'm going back to it, but you deserve it, okay? You, you deserve to be duped. Damn, something happened to me, man. I just, like, I have no patience for these dumb motherfuckers anymore, dude. What happened? Why am I like this? Like, I just don't care about people fucking hurting themselves uh, anymore. I'm 30, is that why? 
Like, I'm about to be 30, so, like, empathy just automatically... The closer I get to 30, the more I'm like, yeah, I don't really care. Fuck this guy. It, it's just, like, I don't know what happened, dude. I, I just... Yo, if you think that, like, eating raw meat is going to cure leukemia, you're fucking so stupid that leukemia is not even the number one problem you have right now. Like, how are you going to get fucking, like, blood cancer? And the, the thing that is probably going to cause you to die is how dumb your brain is. I do think it's... I do think it's because of chatters. Like, chatters have destroyed my empathy. Every time I hear, like, someone who's, like, a crypto advocate. Getting upset at me whenever I'm talking about shit coins. A part of me dies. numerous clients of his uh, to perfect their health and cure their diseases. So if you are interested in learning more about it, I would recommend reading those books, which you can find. No, thanks. Um, okay, hold on. No, thanks on that, but... There's another thing I wanted to show you guys. Oh, the fucking TikTok. We got Buffalo Heart. It's chewy like the liver, but mild, not bitter at all. Pretty interesting. Not bad. Another day, another organ. We got Buffalo Heart. Taste this raw, mild cheddar cheese. Wait, what? What's Let's try. Boom, there it is. Taking a bite out of it, letting it marinate in my mouth. You know, it's not as distinct in cheddar flavor as sharp cheddar cheese, so because of this, I prefer sharp cheddar instead of mild cheddar. Let's try. Chat. Like this video, please subscribe and hit that bell so you don't miss out on any future videos. <laughs>